Previously on Sailing Terrapin, we found a beautiful anchorage with crystal clear waters and sandy beaches and enjoyed lots of hikes in the Arctic Circle. As we headed north, we ventured to the Lofoten Islands. This group of islands in northern Norway is known for its dramatic peaks that come straight out of the ocean. Our first stop was Henningsvar. When we sailed into town, we found our friend Jim on Lisken, one of the four American boats currently in Norway. We met Lisken in Kinsale, Ireland last August, so it was good to see him a little farther north almost a year later. Henningsvar is a sports-oriented town with rock climbing, hiking, and sea kayaking. The weather while we were there was really only good for sea kayaking, so we had a great time seeing the landscape from a different perspective. We left Henningsvar with a forecast of clearing fog to head up to Ramsundet and Trollfjorden, but as we made our way, the fog got heavier, so we anchored off a small island and let it pass. By 1 p.m. it looked good enough to give it another try. As we headed out, the fog slowly came back, even thicker than before. So we tied up to a dock in Golvika that looked brand new with no one around. After a long hike, I accepted the challenge to have Keegan and Brennan say, I am stuffed, what seemed impossible. I made them each two burritos and filled them with the best fillers possible. Beans, quinoa, and the kicker, potatoes. I'm saying that I'm measuring my burrito here. I'm measuring my space in my stomach. It doesn't line up. <laughs> okay, but can we still do ice cream? Oh, yeah. Okay. No, then you got room in your stomach. He can, you can give it a valiant effort, right? No, I have to do it, all right? It's, it's a matter of pride at this point. I got it. You got it. I got to do it. Yeah, but, but I think you have it. I think you have it in the bag. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Keegan celebrated with a jump into the 45 degree Arctic water. The next morning, the sun was out, the fog was gone, and we headed up to Trollfjorden. Yay! Okay. 
the real options to tie up in Trollfjorden, we headed back to Little Mola and some beach time for Kella. Our next stop in the Lofotens was Stamp Sun. The weather was great for a downwind sail, jiving with a crew of four. After Stamson, we headed to the town of Reina, but with wind on the nose and conditions not improving, we decided instead to head to a small anchorage called Kuna. There was no room to swing at anchor, so instead we dropped the bow anchor and used pitons to tie a line to shore and keep Terrapin Stern from moving towards the rocks. With me. Clouds go by and Sun is set high. And I believe you when you say With Terrapin's bow and stern secure, we decided to head to shore for a hike. Say, would you like to spend your day?
sad day for the Terrapin crew. Next week on Sailing Terrapin, we hang out in Buda for a couple days and then we make our way south along the Norwegian fjords. Good job. We didn't quite make it. <laughs> nice okay, one. You was too far. I'm recording. I can't grab the boat. Can't grab the boat. <laughs> you can't get us within arm and leg. Callaway. You don't sound excited. <laughs> Now you're in the shade. Uh, we just left the Lofotins, Lofotins this morning. Start again. You can't jump around like that. Uh, we just left Lofotins.